Good evening and thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, and as we're waiting a couple of minutes for the last few to come in and find a seat, um, I just wanted to make an announcement and just say thank you to Faith Evangelical Bible Church for opening its doors to us, uh, for making room for us. Uh, one of the blessings of um, growing is not always being able to have a place where you can have your programs. And so we're really grateful to Faith for opening their doors and allowing us to barge in on them. Thank you, Faith. The students are ready, so if we could just open with prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this evening. And we thank you for the hard work that these students have put into this program. We thank you for Mrs. Byers and how diligently she has worked uh, getting them ready. And we thank you for teachers, Lord, who have uh, cooperated with her and, and helped her out to get that accomplished. Father, we just ask your blessing on the message tonight, uh, that your word would go out and not come back void, as we celebrate the greatest gift that was ever given the baby, Jesus Christ, born in a manger to take away the sins of the earth. Um, we ask these things in your name, Jesus. Amen.
Ma'am, what do you or what are you doing here to get the king ready for this? Isn't it the best time? Isn't it the best time in rumors now? Just imagine the king coming to our little own town. <coughs> Maybe it's wonderful. We'll get I'm also the curator and number one fundraiser of the local art museum, Jared Bush, and this is Mini Community. Well, I don't want to take all the credit, but I do believe it's thanks to my hard work on my many committees that we are thrilled to have the kings, we're thrilled to have the, be selected to have the kings visit. Isn't it just marvelous? This is, this is definitely going to make us on the top ten on the country a goal that made my life goal. Thank you, Ms. Booster. So far, all I'm hearing is the king is coming to town. Does anyone know who this king is? Sheriff Batch, are you coordinating security arrangements for the king and his people, or they're looking kindly to the sheriff's office? Gerda, we have everything totally under control. Our office will make sure that the king is completely protected during his visit. Ground control, of course, is our number one concern. I will be checking everything that moves in this town. Everything is totally under control. Well, there you have it. The king is coming to town. Too busy in one hole or I in the street. But that hasn't stopped me. But that hasn't stopped Rosen from getting ready for the point of Greta Van Popcorn here. Live in the live in room as well. Just need you to find all the details. What's going on? I can't believe you have an issue that doesn't press this already. Are you rolling? involved in hosting him? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, no greater. Look, my office will have a statement for you later tonight. Right now, I'm late for a very important meeting in the town council. Okay, we need to get these plans underway. I don't want to
Hamilton. He is the king of the world, right? And let's assume he's coming back to this afternoon. The town square is looking good, people. He's done a good, good, great job. But we can't let the king see the entire population of Riversville covered in paint and dirt. It's time for you all to um, get, get your clothes changed and get yourselves ready. Go home and get back here as quickly as you can. We may not have a lot of time. And dress appropriately. Right, I've got to go and track down the man, make sure he's got the right speech. Well, I've got to track down the store once and for all. Hey kids, look, I'd love to give you an autograph, but I just don't have the time right now. I've got to find out where this whole story actually started, and if I do, I'm sure you're that doctor I've been dreaming about. Um, there's popcorn inside, but we didn't want to Oh, you didn't? Oops, what is it? You said you wanted to get to the bottom of the story, right? Absolutely. Do you two have any information that can help me? We sure do. Yep. Great, let's hear it. I'm on the We're here, where I've just been run over by Mama with his rock and rollers. Let's see if we can talk to one of them. Excuse me, but can you explain why I've come to this town square dress this way? He's coming! He's coming! I don't understand. What king are you talking about? The king, Grandma, the king of rock and roll!
the town is long departed king of rock and roll. Who knows? Maybe they're right. Now back to your said your programming. No, my career is over! Sorry, Chip. You had no idea if Mayor took an Elvis impersonator? Bummer. Well, listen, there's two shots between Hunt I mean, the king, whoever he is, is still coming, right? And obviously, the mayor isn't going to tell the meeting who's ready. It's up to you, Chip. Wow, I guess you're right. I got look at some over to town. Maybe a better friend than just in case they spot anyone coming. Now, where do those two kids go? They're going to tell me something about the poster. There you guys are. Hey, kids, can you finish that conversation now? Excuse me, kids, I'll be right back. Roll tape. After much preparation and a lot of hard work, the Ruse Museum is thrilled to announce our latest exhibit. A new exhibit? Yes. The King Town exhibit will arrive at the museum shortly soon. <laughs> yes, friends, the King Town exhibit will arrive at the museum. <coughs> Isn't this just marvelous?
even better than that. This king hasn't been dead for thousands of years. He's alive, and he has to just work and work and work to have Well, we don't have to be afraid. And if we can really count on him to show and stay. We don't have to work and work to find him to see him. Judge, you explain this to everyone? Yeah. Well, we learned about something the other day in the book of Luke. He explained what it says. And there was shepherds looking out with the fields in their bike, keeping watch over the flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord, Lord appeared to them, and his loins, the floor shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid of me. Afraid me. I will give you to you of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and laying in the manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men, on whom his favor rests. When the angel had left it, them and gone into heaven. Now the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has, has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was laying in the manger, leading to a sixteen. And then in the book of Matthew it says, during the reign of King Herod, some wise men from the eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king? We have seen his star and we want to worship him. It just, it just seems that our town has gotten all about the king. The, great, the king that is greater than every other king. The king that even kings worship. So we made these posters. I hung up just the first spot that tiled all our story, but before we could hang up the last, the people of Rivers went over from there. But you said the king was uh, no. But but we know all about that king. Of course we do. Everyone knows all about Jesus being born. <laughs> What's the news in that? I can't believe the two kids got this whole time. <laughs>
Barbara, you don't have to just work and work and hope it'll be enough to get to be Jesus King. All you have to do is ask him to come.
because Jesus came because he wants you to know him. He wants everyone to know him. All we have to do is believe he who he says he is and ask him to come and stay in our towns, in our homes, and best of all, in our hearts. Greta Van Popcorn here in Roosevelt, USA with the news art. Is the king coming to town? Is he already here? Just because his king has caused all the excitement. Stay tuned, we'll believe what you're going to hear. Christian Academy this year, um, you could be wondering what this is all about. Well, it has become a tradition to take a love offering for our staff Christmas bonus <laughs> at our Christmas programs. And I was asked earlier this week how that actually is applied, and I had never really um, explained that before. So what we do with our offerings from our Christmas programs is they all get combined into one pot, and then it gets divided um, among 50 staff persons, about 50 staff persons this year, um, according to full-time, part-time, you know, so on down the road. So that is how the work, how that works. I know some people thought that it only went to the students in these grades, and yet they had students in other grades, so no, it all goes into one pot, and that's how it gets distributed. So uh, we thank you in advance for giving towards that. Um, I am happy to say that at this point in time, after 12 years, 
uh, our staff are making about 50% of what they would be making if they were working in a Indiana or Poor County public school. So uh, we've made a lot of improvements come a long way and we're really grateful for that. Our staff I think are the best. Uh, I don't think there's any better out there. And we really love you guys and, and couldn't do it without you. Um, and we have a long way to go but we're working on that and this offering just allows us to you know, give them a bonus of some type. Our teachers are here because they believe that a Christian education is how God designed education and that's what's most important to them. Um, so anyway, thank you for coming out this evening and I'm going to ask Mrs. Folk to come on up. She's going to close us in prayer and I'm sure she has a few things to say as well. I want to thank Mrs. Byers for her excellent work with these young people. And thank you guys. You did beautifully. You have great talent, great abilities, and a lot of great joy. And I don't know how. 65 kids stayed in one place and we didn't have any catastrophes. Wonderful. Thank you. Student Jessica Alley would like to present something. them beautifully and I think also that we just want to uh, be thankful to the church again for opening their doors for us and Mr. Erstbommer back there did all the sound for both programs so we appreciate his effort. Oh, <laughs> Let's close in prayer and then Mrs. Byers has a special way of having them dismissed. I saw that. Father, I thank you that we have had this opportunity to hear the message of these young people. We thank you for their hearts, for their enthusiasm, for their talents, that they served us tonight by sharing the gospel and having fun doing it. May you bless them, encourage them, and may we be blessed and encouraged as we keep our focus and we are turned towards you, Jesus, and why we have this season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>